Hey everybody, welcome back to War Budgies. Today we're going to take a look at the newest addition to our Crystal Fortress tower here. Uh, the nice folks over at Crystal Fortress sent us some storage pods to review and asked if we would take a look at them. So we're going to take a look and see what kind of design and functionality we've got as part of the whole Crystal Fortress cube that we're building here. So to begin, we'll take this layer here with the models off. And as you can see immediately, we've got the storage pods on display here, filled with all the little knickknacks that I like to bring to game. Tokens, dice, and they all fit right into the F Crystal Fortress cube itself. And we've got a lot of different elements here, which I'll showcase throughout the video, but frankly, bringing a bunch of stuff to game, I find this pretty useful just because I can take them apart like this. We got tokens here, we got objective markers here, dice, tape measure, uh, some paintbrushes and emergency repair supplies in the bottom, and I'm a fiend for magnetizing arms, so I got my magnetized arms in the back, and the accompanying models in the layer below. So the whole thing fits together quite well into the structure. Now when you're looking at the storage pods themselves, it's easy to get kind of overwhelmed and a bit confused. But really all you got to worry about is what kind of size, style, and height do you need for whatever it is that you need to store. And these sizes come in three delightful flavors, the first of which is the large, which fits into the Orca case. It's got a very similar footprint and nests inside that. You've also got the medium storage pod, which goes in the Beluga case, and the small ones, which are half the size of the Beluga. Now the way you see the dividers split up, all these little bays and all that, that's just the way that I happened to assemble them when I got them out of the package. They're made up of main dividers, these short ones that go across, and long dividers which run all the way down. And they've got these little gaps set where you can lock them into place. There's also little short tabs you can use to break up the larger bays. And the cool thing about these is they use the same little locking ball joints that the Crystal Fortress cases do. So there's no glue involved. And if you want to rearrange it or change up the bays or decide how you want it to look, you just pop them right out and snap them back into place just like so. So the storage pod on the left is the standard design and it's just made up of main dividers and long dividers and all those little tabs you can decorate throughout. If you want more options or more customizable control over your storage pod, there's also an advanced style which comes with way more, way more options for it. Instead of just the long and main dividers, it's got all these differently sized ones which can separate the bays in crazy different ways away from the center line, away from the mid lines. There's a ridiculous number of options here. So just to give you an idea, here's a picture of the guy that comes with it and just a brief example of different ways you can break that out. So once you've picked out the size that you need and the style that works for you and whatever you need to store in here, all you gotta worry about is the height. So each one of the storage pods is designed to nest inside one of the Crystal Fortress cases. Like here, this is a blank compact case. It's the same ones that I used to transfer the models. And I can put my one inch large pod there and another one inch large pod on top of it. Or you can drop a two inch pod in the other side, which gives you some deeper pockets to uh, store your stuff in. So thanks very much for joining us on this look. This has been the Crystal Fortress storage pod system. It's a neat little way to keep track of all of your related shenanigans and small items that you need for your game. So thanks for watching.